Uh, yeah, good afternoon. We're outside Valley View High School here in Moreno Valley. We just got done talking to a couple of the cheerleaders who were the targets of some of these verbal attacks. They told us what they heard and saw while they were at a football game on Friday night at Temecula Valley High School. Actually, outside of Temecula Valley High School this morning, some supporters showed up to hold a rally in support of the cheerleaders here in Moreno Valley. Let's show you some video of this. These are some people who heard about what happened, decided to show up outside Temecula Valley High School and rally in support of the cheerleaders here in Moreno Valley, but here so cheerleaders, son cheerleaders. Came with their team to play a game in a glacier glider on Brito area. And during that game, the cheerleaders said they heard some slurs. And the next day, immediately, all the pasty liberals hit the street to show everybody, we're not racist. We're not racist. That's what this is about. We're not racist. And you know my idea of this, man. Some people got to get thicker skin, man. That word, that that word is, that word is disseminated more than any other word, just as much as any other word. The, a, and, that word. That word that rhymes with bigger is said so much. And then they play this game with El Well. On Britos can say it, but Glacier Gliders can't say it. So if you got, no matter what your race is, if you cl classify yourself as an on Brito, you, can get, you get to say it. If you class the same person, change their name from Henderson to Hernandez, they can say it. The same person changed their name from Rogers to Rodriguez. They can say it. It's just weird, man. And then you got buddies, you give them the pass. <laughs> they give they give their buddies the pass to say it. It's just strange, man. Um, but this protest, this is just about, this is just, look, we're not racist over some little girl saying they heard something at a football game. And we're outside Valley View High School here in Moreno Valley. We just got done talking to a couple of the cheerleaders who were the targets of some of these verbal attacks. They told us what they heard and saw while they were at a football game on Friday night at Temecula Valley High School. Actually, outside of Temecula Valley High School this morning, some supporters showed up to hold a rally in support of the cheerleaders here in Moreno Valley. Let's show you some video of this. These are some people who heard about what happened, decided to show up outside Temecula Valley High School and rally in support of the cheerleaders here in Moreno Valley, but here in Moreno Valley, the cheerleaders told me that during the game, they started hearing some racial slur slurs targeted at them. They started hearing people making monkey sounds as they walked to the crowd to a concession stand. One of the young ladies told me that as she was walking to the concession stand, one person in the crowd stopped her, touched her hair, said she had nice hair and she didn't feel comfortable, uh, and some other things as well going on with that. We should have... <laughs> is this... Is it me? I... Really? I mean, all the stuff that they, I mean, the things that some people say publicly, they can say anything about any race. Because remember, some people can't be racist because they don't have power. Well, you got enough power to have a bunch of white liberals standing on the corner de declaring solidarity with you and denouncing racism because you Heard somebody make a monkey sound. Why did you internalize that? And we and we don't know if it's true because 
Some people lie all the time about stuff like this. Because like Jason Whitlock said, finding racism is like gold. It's so hard to find nowadays. So when you find it, you got to hold on to it. And if you find a glimpse of it, you got to keep digging. <laughs> Somebody made a monkey sound. Like, could that could that have been some kind of chant? And listen, this is why you kind of stay away from this stuff because they get you going down. It's so many things that somebody could have done that could have been a monkey sound, or it could have really been a monkey sound. And that means something about you. I don't get that. Like, why are you internalizing monkey? Like, you. I went to the zoo today. Took my daughter to the zoo. Up in um, New York. Um, upstate New York. It ain't really upstate, but out not not New York City. Little rinky dink zoo. And um, they had a monkey d d exhibit. Man, listen, monkeys don't look like people, man. <laughs> no kind of people, man. Monkeys are like 35 pounds, all hunched up. They look like cats, man. They look like cats. <laughs> monkeys look more like cats than anything, man. What are you talking about? Why are you eternalizing that? And I have and I can't remember the last time I heard a black person compared to a monkey. That's like some old like 1840s stuff. Like where did where do they learn to internalize that? Where are they learning to internalize that? To 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 make that that means them. And then the someone touched my hair. Well, listen, your hair is different. All the other groups' hair is similar, even though. Ombritos, real, real Ombritos, Central and South American Ombritos, their hair is bone straight. And white people's hair is more strandy and loose, but it's straight. However, your hair, sister, son, sister, mini sister, mini son, sister, is like zigzag, kinky, coily patterns that just, and maybe somebody, maybe they, they it's intriguing. Maybe they, they liked your hair. It's different. Your hair is more, has more ability. You can straighten it like theirs. They can't make their hair look like yours. But you can make your hair look like theirs and you can Dread it, you can twist it, you can pick it out. and There's so many things you can do with your hair. But someone telling you, you hate your hair so much that someone touching your hair and saying that they like it makes, not only makes you feel uncomfortable, but makes you want to go to the media and talk about how racist it was because you hate your hair so much. You internalizing monkey, some monkey um, slur from 150 years ago. Because I swear I haven't heard nobody call no black, no sun person a monkey. And, and, and I, I just haven't seen it. This stuff is bananas, man. <laughs> no pun intended. Here in Marina Valley, the cheerleaders told me that during the game, they started hearing some racial slur, slurs targeted at them. They started hearing people making monkey sounds as they walked to the crowd to a concession stand. One of the young ladies told me that as she was walking to the concession stand, one person in the crowd stopped her, touched her hair, said she had nice hair and she didn't feel comfortable, uh, and some other things as well going on with that. We should have a comment here. Let me know if we get that up here from the cheerleaders we just talked to about that. If we 
we do have that. Here's a little more in their words about what happened. Like being booed and having explicit remarks made to one of our teammates, um, having monkey noises made towards me and my teammate, um, you know, people touching my hair or a person touching my hair, stuff that was not needed and called for. How sad and how disgusting that you guys decided to just spit mean words, um, degrade cheerleaders who are cheering for an opposing team and also cheering for your team as well. Thank God you some people live in the greatest country on the planet. Because you wouldn't make it in the wild. You wouldn't make it in Afghanistan. You wouldn't make it in Haiti. You wouldn't make it in Jamaica. Okay? You wouldn't make it in Saudi Arabia, Libya, Nigeria, Venezuela. You wouldn't make it there. This version of the Sun Man, the American Sun, you wouldn't make it there. You're too soft. You're too coddled. These these white liberals done got you and made you think that everything you this victim stuff is yacht. And it's no end in sight. Like this is just the beginning. 2022's coming. You'll be like, man. Remember how we thought about 2020? And then 2021 came and said, hold my beer. 2022 is going to do the same thing about 2021. This, is, this can't be serious. Is this what they're complaining about? At a, You're on a road game at a hostile crowd. The opposing fans, and you're coming to the media with this? And they're legitimizing it and they're taking it seriously. They didn't just tell you to they didn't kick you out of the news station. They had to take it seriously because you're a sun person and everything some people say now is right. And you can't tell a sun person to grow a pair. Like being booed and having explicit remarks made to one of our teammates. Um, having monkey noises made towards me and my teammate, um, you know, people touching my hair or a person touching my hair, stuff that was not needed and called for. How sad and how disgusting that you guys decided to just spit mean words, um, degrade cheerleaders who are cheering for an opposing team and also cheering for your team as well. Now, the Temecula Valley Unified School District said it is aware of these allegations and is investigating in a statement the district said in part, our school district embraces diversity and strongly condemns hate speech and offensive, hateful language or racial intolerance of any kind on its sports fields in school buildings or anywhere on or off school premises. We will hold anyone found to have used such language while representing any of our schools accountable. For their words and actions so they are investigating this looking into these allegations and as you heard there they said they will take action if they can find out who did it for now reporting live in moreno valley i'm chip yost ktla 5 news chip